Hello adventure seeker! Welcome to my road trip here through the Scottish Highlands. Today I am going to show you around the Glencoe Valley, which is famous for its imposing nature, impressive mountain views, rivers and waterfalls. It has been used in several movies and I am going to show you a few different places here in the area and wait until the end because I'm going to show you the most iconic place here of the Glencoe Valley. Okay, I'm actually very excited for this first stop here of this video. I have to admit though that this is not in Glencoe, but it is on my way to Glencoe, which is why I decided to put this place into this video, because when I found out that this place is actually on the route I have planned out for my road trip, I was super excited about it and there was no way that I wouldn't go here. And I thought maybe it will be somehow on your way as well, with just a small detour maybe. And if that is the case, put it on your list. I'm very excited to show you this one. It is about one hour away from Glencoe and I'm going to walk a little bit now towards the viewpoint and then I'm going to show you where we are and hopefully some of you will recognize this place. I really hope that you have recognized this place by now and if not you have a huge homework to do because you will have to watch eight movies in total. This place here is the way to Hogwarts or actually in reality it is the Glenfinnan Viaduct that has been constructed in the 1830s and during the season there will be the Hogwarts Express crossing that bridge here or actually in reality it is called the Jacobite Steam Train. For me personally it will always be the Hogwarts Express I am now waiting for the train to pass by. It passes by twice per day during the months April to October and it goes from Fort William to Malek. You can also take the ride if you want to get the full Hogwarts experience from inside the train. That will cost you around 57 pounds. I'm going to leave you the web page where you can buy the tickets down there in the description below so that you can check out not only the exact timetables but also you will be able to buy a ticket if that's what you prefer. If you don't want to spend too much Money, there are actually also local trains that are passing this area so you will get the same views basically but they are way cheaper <laughs> so maybe that is an option if you want to get those views that could also be an option for you to take local trains anyway for me the train option was not an option because to be honest I think it would be kind of disappointing to get into the Hogwarts Express and then not getting out in Hogwarts. I am going to prepare all of my cameras so that I will hopefully get amazing shots of that train crossing the bridge. How exciting! I can see it, I can see it! guys that was so cool I gotta pick my th my things up and then we will go back to the car I think everything worked out as I wanted it to work out more or less at some point the drone was losing a little bit of signal so I couldn't follow the train even more but anyway this was a super fun and exciting experience I'm super happy how things turned out and this is probably also the closest that I will ever get to Hogwarts Bye bye Hogwarts Express Bridge. We are now going to continue our way to Glencoe. I'm now going to start a small hike to a very historical place here in the Glencoe Valley. Once I reach this point, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the area. By the way, they say that Glencoe is one of the most beautiful areas here in Scotland and it is famous for its beautiful rivers, impressive mountains and waterfalls. And I already feel like here during this hike I'm going to see a few really nice places. I really like this forest here. It's super green as everything in Scotland and very peaceful. So this beautiful and peaceful forest that I'm currently walking in is actually a place 
with quite a tragic history. Because according to the legend, they say that close to this place, you will find the signal rock, which was the rock from which they gave the signal for the Glencoe massacre. The Glencoe massacre took place on February 13th of 1692 in the early morning hours. During this massacre, 38 people have been murdered and even more died in the intent to flee from the massacre while they were exposed to extreme weather conditions and a lot of snow. Now, the people here in the Highlands were famous for their hospitality and kindness. And before that massacre, the McDonald clan hosted some soldiers at their place for a few weeks. And these same soldiers were the ones that later on executed 38 people of the McDonald clan. So 38 men, women and children have died from the same people they actually hosted, they cooked for, and so on. People they kind of trusted, I guess. This here behind me is the Signal Rock. This rock has been a point where the McDonald clan has gathered in cases of emergencies. And even though there are some people that believe that this rock has been the rock from which the fire has been sent out to give the signal to execute the massacre, there is not enough evidence to actually prove that theory. So I am doing another short hike. This time I'm going to show you another movie scene, another one from Harry Potter. This is going to be the last one, I promise. Actually, there are a lot of places here in Scotland that has been used for various movies, but especially in the Harry Potter movies, you will find a lot of places here in Scotland. I am going to show you another one now. I hope I will recognize it. I found it. This is the place of Hagrid's hut. I think in the third movie, we were able to see this place in the movie. This is where Hagrid's hut was standing down there. We could see the lake as well. There were some scenes on the lake, I remember that. And this place, wow, it's insane. It is surrounded by impressive mountains. The perfect scenery for a movie, I would say. driving along the A82 here in Glencoe, which is that road that you can see here behind me. And this road is famous for its insane mountain views. It's super beautiful. I am in love with those majestic mountain views here. And you can stop every now and again because there are a lot of parking areas where you can quickly stop your car and enjoy these insanely beautiful views. I am currently at Loch Aktriaktan and that is the lake that you can see here in the background. It's super beautiful. I recommend you to stop here. There's like a parking area right in front of it. And now let's enjoy these beautiful views for a little bit. I am now here at the Three Sisters viewpoint. The Three Sisters are those three mountain peaks that you can see here in the background. Each one of them has its own name. I am not going to try to pronounce them all because I am sure I will do a miserable job in that. Anyway, this is meant to be the most scenic place here in Glencoe and it is super impressive. I've seen it in videos and also on photos and to be honest, I was expecting them to be way smaller because photos and videos cannot really show how majestic these three peaks are. This place is also located on the A82. There's a car park over there that is free to use. And this area seems to be perfect for hiking. You can see some hiking routes here in the background. So if you are into hiking and you have the time, make sure to do a hike here in this area as well. I just stopped at the meeting of the three waters. That is basically this place here. We can see some natural pools here in this area and some waterfalls. You can find this place also on the A82 on the base of the Three Sisters. I even saw some people swimming down there in the natural pools. I actually didn't know that I could go swimming here in Scotland, so I didn't bring any swimming clothes with me. But I also have to admit, I think for me personally, this would be a little bit too cold today. And I'm assuming that the water temperature is not the highest here. But anyway, if you don't mind fresh water, bring your swimming clothes because the water looks crystal clear and super beautiful. 
So when I was down there, I actually checked the water temperature a little bit with my hand. And honestly, I was expecting it to be ice cold, but it's not. It's not warm, of course, but it's also not freezing cold. I think even I could handle getting into that water with a lot of time and a few screams probably, but I think I could do it. So if you are planning to come here, do not forget to bring your swimsuits. So I now left the A82 to get to this place here, which is called Glenedive. This is also the last stop for this video. And the views are absolutely crazy. We are in the mountains. You can see down there is a little river. That's the River Edive. And this whole time I was driving along that river here on a road that is completely peaceful. It is surrounded by basically nothing, only nature, mountains, a forest, and then this river and here that lake and the nature here is unbelievable. Unfortunately, it is starting to rain a little bit. I would have loved to show you this place from above with a drone, but it's not meant to be like that today. Today we can also see that much. It is quite clouded now also because of the rain. But anyway, this area is insane and it's worth coming here. Put it on your list when you are here in the Glencoe area. By the way, this area was also a famous film spot. This time not Harry Potter, don't worry. It has been used for the Skyfall movie of James Bond. All right, it is raining quite a lot right now. I think that is a sign for me to drive towards the hotel. And that means that was it for today. That was it for the road trip here in the Glencoe Valley. If you have any open questions left, make sure to drop them below in the comment section. I will answer all of them later. And of course, if you like this video, I would highly appreciate your support. Drop me a like and I hope to see you in the next video on Friday.